Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1826, and this is titled Relax. It's not like that. <clears throat> this poem is about the new boyfriend. He has a suspicion about a specific friend that his man has had a history with. This guy is very open to talking about the problem, but still, there's this awkward tension between them that keeps going. This is from the friend's point of view. And he's addressing both of them saying, look, my intentions are clearly friendship, but this is all there is. So there's no misunderstanding. <clears throat> Relax, it's not like that. I guess these days you can't be nice unless there's an ulterior motive. Commenting under a selfie of you both or saying congratulations on the change of status doesn't mean I'm creeping. If you truly knew me, you would know that that's not my style. Well, I hope this piece serves its purpose. It's been so long since we haven't talked. He's on my page, but we don't talk like before. And when I mean that, I literally mean years. I don't know. I just get this vibe from you. I don't know if it was something that was said about me, but there's an uncomfortable feeling which I really hate, especially when it's in silence. That's not very welcoming, and I genuinely was just trying to wish you the best. There was nothing I did or said or wrote that could possibly make you feel like I was a threat in any way, or even to be sarcastic in that way. And if so, well, I guess I'm sorry. I've moved on, clearly. He's got you, you got him. Is there really room for hostility? Especially when it's so unnecessary. You can pick up a lot from people and what they say. How they act, their body language, or their glances. I was hoping for friendship, but with this awkward tension, I don't even know if I want it to even put myself in that position. We may once had a history, but that was so long ago. I can't speak for him, but I'm over it. So take a breather. If you don't even believe what I'm saying, you trust him. He trusts you. He loves you. You love him. Relax. It's not like that. If you have some kind of issue with me, you can address it. We can talk on the phone or meet up for coffee. I have no problem with saying it's not like that. If you feel like this is too strange, fine. I'll mind my own business and we won't be friends. But I don't know what that says about your level of trust with him. I can assure you it's not like that. <clears throat> I guess these days you can't be nice unless there's an ulterior motive. Well, even with that in mind, I'm not going to change who I am for anyone or to fix in this box of society has created. My heart doesn't leap for him. And even if it did, I have more respect for anyone's relationship to break it. So ease your mind. I hope this poem served its purpose. If you want me to say it again, well, here we go. It's been so long since we haven't talked. Busy with life. He's on my page, but we don't talk like before. And when I mean that, I literally mean years. After you said what you did, it got me thinking, I don't know, I just get this vibe from you. I don't know if it was something that you heard about me, but there's an uncomfortable feeling which I really hate, and it's lingering in this silence. That's not very welcoming, and I genuinely wish just try to wish you both the best. Hell, I'll even send you an early wedding gift. I respect it, but there was nothing I did or said or wrote that could possibly make you feel like I was trying to take your man in any way, and if you really truly believe that for whatever reason... Well, I'm sorry. I've turned the page of the chapter and finished the damn book. He's got you. You got him. Is there any room for hostility, especially when it's so unnecessary and nothing is happening? You can pick up a lot from what people say, how they act, their body language or their glances, their eye rolls, or the subtext in that text. I was hoping for friendship, that's all. But with this awkward tension, I don't even know if I want to even put myself in that position. We may once have had a history, but that was a long, 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 long ago. I can't speak for him, but I'm over it. So take a breather. If you don't even believe what I'm writing, look over there in his eyes. You trust him. He trusts you. He loves you. You love him. Relax. It's not like that. I get it. Sometimes we let our mind run further than it should go. But if you have some kind of issue with me, you can address it. We can talk on the phone or meet up with the coffee. I have no problem with saying the truth. It's not like that. Feel like this is too strange or odd? Fine, I'll mind my own business and we won't be friends. But I don't know what that says about your level of trust with him. So I'll say it one last time. I can assure you it's not like that. <laughs>